Hey there, I want to show you how you can enter a matrix into your problem sets because you're going to have to do that sometimes, um, particularly in module five, in your module five problem set, that's the first place that you'll have to enter in a matrix. And one of the things that we really want to build is the habit of making these problem sets look very, very nice when we uh, create them as a PDF file. We want them to look nice. Believe me, you'll be happy that you're able to do that at some point later on. So I've opened up the module five assignment here in my workspace here in Codio, and I've already entered my name in there. One thing that I do want to remind you is that anytime you enter something in, whether it's an answer to a problem or some text or whatever, you can always preview it by clicking on build and view, which is that double green arrow arrow up here. So if I click on that, you can see right there. And it, it, it's even very kind. It highlights briefly in yellow for me what I've just entered in. So I can double check that, make sure that I didn't misspell my name or anything. And then to close your preview, just click on the X. But that's really handy because after you have entered in the answer to a problem, you can preview it and make sure that your formatting is what you want it to be. Make sure that you didn't um, put the wrong answer in by accident. So that's really a good thing to use. So let's get back to the matrix. Problem three is the first place where you have to enter in a matrix. So I just click on problem three and it'll move me down. What you guys will have to do for the first part is you're given an arrow diagram and you have to create if the arrow diagram represents a relation and then you have to create the matrix representation off of the arrow diagram for that particular relation. So this is where I want to show you. So let's just scroll down a little bit. See right here where it says enter your answer before this comment line. So I'm going to hit enter and now I'm going to enter a matrix. I want you to know the matrix I enter is not the correct one for this problem. I just want to show you how to enter a matrix. This isn't the one you want. So please, when you complete this problem, don't enter the same matrix that I did. Okay, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm going to enter a three by three matrix and I'm going to have it enclosed in parentheses. That's one way to make it look really nice. So this is going to be math. So I'm starting with a dollar sign, then go backslash, begin, in curly braces, P matrix. The P is how I tell, uh, th it's how I tell the program that I want to enclose my matrix in parentheses. Now I'm ready to start entering elements. So let's get rid of that. And for this first line, let's just say, the first row is one, two, three. So I'm going to go one, and then I'm separating my elements with an ampersand, then two, I like a space there, and then three. This is the final element in the row, so I don't need the ampersand. Once the row comes to an end to indicate that, I want the double backslash. So now let's go down to the second row, and we'll just put zero, zero, zero in this row. So zero, ampersand zero, ampersand zero, and this is the last element, so that's where I go double backslash. And in that third row, let's veer away from numbers and we'll go A, B, C. So A, B, C, and that is it. That's the end of the matrix. So because that's the end of the matrix, I don't need the double backslash. I just need to end the matrix. And you can see that Sometimes this comes up automatically. As sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't, you would type it in, but you would go backslash, end, and then in curly braces, P matrix. I also want to put a dollar sign at the end of that because I'm ending my math. So now we're going to have a really nice looking matrix. Let's just preview it. And there it is right there. You can see how nice it looks. One, two, three, zero, 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 A, B, C, and it's enclosed in... Um, the parentheses. Now, what if I want this centered? If I want this centered, because I think that looks nice to have it centered, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to highlight all of this and over here where I either right justify, left justify, or center, I'm going to click on that middle one because that's where I center things. So I click on that and you can see it begins center and it also ends center after where I highlighted. So let's just preview that again. See how it changed it? Now it's in the center. So that's really nice. Okay, one more thing here. 
oops, let me find that again. What if I did not want my matrix in parentheses? What if I wanted my matrix in square brackets? If that were the case, instead of a P matrix, I would want a B matrix because I want brackets instead of parentheses. And when I backspace out the P here, it automatically also converted it to a B out down with there where it ended. So that's pretty nice. Sometimes it doesn't automatically do that for you and you'll have to do it manually, but it's, it's pretty easy to do. So one more time, let's preview this. And now our matrix is in those square brackets instead of in parentheses, and it looks really nice. So that's how you enter a good matrix into your problem set.